the cerebral lux right now. And uh, waiting for some of y'all to get up because I know some of y'all still sleep. This is vacation time for some. And this is just a work, regular work week for others. We are live. We are in the house. So let's go and get this show started. All right. First, we got to pick the hair. Oh. Man, I love the rebelliousness of my hair. Good God Almighty. Let's kick it. All right, first off, family, I want to welcome you to Giami Journey Media. Of course, you know, this is a Heart of a Simple production. <laughs> and this is the Daily Toast and the first day of Kwanzaa. We strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm.
say we get it. Mm. Almost. Almost. Age is catching up with me. I can't drink my water like I used to. <laughs> But yo, family, it's a great, it's a great, great day for us. And Giamma, y'all know we are on Ujima, but in Kwanzaa today, we are on the principle of unity. Unity. So the word of the day is a barigani. Barigani. I say it to all of y'all, a barigani. What's going on out there? And what more appropriate way than to start Kwanzaa? than to start by talking about the principle upon which we are in today. And that principle, of course, is a moja. So, of course, you know, all you got to do, family, all you got to do, all you got to do nowadays, is just get on the internet. Get on the internet. You can find out some, um, some interesting stuff. So, I found an article on one United Bank. Oh, one United Bank. Mm. Kwanzaa celebration is an important part of our community. End of the year holiday celebration. Speaking of the end of the year um, holiday celebration, family, I hope to see you tonight at the Kwanzaa celebration. Be looking for um, some of us to be on the news today talking about Kwanzaa. You know, getting it hyped up, getting y'all ready, family. We about to, oh man, we about to go into the most wonderful time of the year. We made it past the 25th, you know what I'm saying? Which is a holiday for, for, for many of our people, right? Beautiful, beautiful. Now, come on out with us and celebrate Kwanzaa. Now, um, the Kwanzaa celebration is an important part of community end of the year um holiday celebration and it's the and it's first principle principle moja which means unity is at the core of who we are moja stresses the importance of togetherness for the family and the community which is reflected in the african proverb i am because we are i think that's mbutu mbutu i am because we are mbutu right those powerful words inspire us every day, and we believe that everyone in our community is responsible for one another, and that by working together, we will achieve great things. That's from the First United Bank. So, family, now let's go on and um, let's go on and go a little bit in depth here. What is unity? Unity is the state of being united or joined as a whole, right? Which is, I mean, it's important that it's the first principle. But, of course, those that that, that read um, the Player's Pyramid, y'all know we flip that whole damn thing upside down. And we start working through the principles from, from faith up to unity. But unity is being joined as a whole and us being one. And the thing that I would like to kind of open up, if there is anybody out there, I kind of want us to share... In what ways have we been practicing unity within the communities in which we live? Have we have we manifested this principle today? You know, um, uh, last night we had a, um, a, a good folk tale. It's probably not one of the unity ones, but we could kind of use it if we wanted to to really look at some aspects of unity because these stories kind of break them up um the dog and the oyster but i'm quite sure there's some other folk tales that some of y'all might remember from this last year that you might be able to tell or even some proverbs about unity you know what i'm saying that that we're opening the floor opening the lines so that we could discuss um unity and how has how have you demonstrated it this year because what good is it to have the uh what good is it to have this whole um this whole celebration if we can't come together and talk about why 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 and how we've been practicing you know what i'm saying and maybe maybe share some light on this principle 
for other people that may have been out here searching, may have been out here looking, may have been out here struggling. You know what I'm saying? Wondering why certain things weren't working for them or working for their team or working for their group. Now, I'm at dictionary.com, unity of state of being one, oneness a whole or totality as combining all its parts into one the state or fact of being united or combined into one as the parts of the whole unification now you know part of the issue with with um kwanzaa and with us is that we have to translate everything right so let's go i want to go i want to go to the origin let's see the origin of the word um equivalent unitas it comes from middle english unite old french latins unitas equivalent to un us us or one plus itis id so um us un or us one us as one you know what I'm saying? So, family, come on now. So, anybody out there, anybody out there want to call in and share? How have they been? What you mean I'm off today? What's going on? You can't see me? Say, you off today. Man, I'm off on the song almost almost every day. But, hey, I'm kind of excited and nervous. You know what I'm saying? This is the first day of Kwanzaa. Shouts out to Miss Navita Nelson. Thank you for joining us this morning. Um, so, how have you been practicing unity? Let me make sure. Let me make sure the phone lines are open. Oh yeah, they open. They open. They open. Call in six one four five five six four five three five six one four five five six four five three five all right i'm opening them up now so the subject is unity how have you, you been are the first participant on this uber conference please hold while we wait for the day. others to join so we'll give give some people some time to come in are you uh are you of today um i got to go to to the job today because I gotta find I, I gotta find a way to get to the job so I can go and get my car towed because I want to get it fixed because that's gonna be a major hindrance um, for the celebration. Like we got a lot to do. I'm already behind and no shops was open yesterday. I couldn't get nobody. You know I wasn't gonna get nobody um, yesterday to be able to fix the car. But we got you know we gotta get that done. I'm gonna get that done. I'm gonna get all that done today. Um, so, you know, we work on that. So we're about to see some unity in action. So if you see Brother Hatim driving around, y'all know unity is alive. So, you know, the, the task that I've been giving people um, for the last couple of months was, I, I say, activate your reticular formation, right? Activate your reticular formation and start seeking out unity. And I was asking people to take pictures so that you could post it up. And today, especially... You know, with us going to Kwanzaa, I want us to be able to post up some beautiful pictures of unity, unity in motion. We got to be seeking out these principles. We got to be looking out for these principles. And, you know, one of the things, I mean, for all the principles in some form or fashion, um, I kind of designed the show so that I, you know, you know, I could, I could, I could walk it like I talk it. You understand know what I'm saying? You know, we getting out. We toasting our ancestors. We showing our unity with with our Creator, our ancestors, and all the stuff around us. Um, we're saluting our families. You know what I'm saying? Uplifting our, our personal families, um, our spiritual family, um, and and having some discussions that you might not get um, in other places. Now there are other places for some good discussions, cause some good ass shows out here on the internet. You know what I'm saying? But I want to thank all those that take the time to join us in in unity here at um here on Giambi Journey. And once again I hit y'all with that Habari Ghani. What's the news? Give me some news about unity. Give me some news about unity. Cause I heard I heard America's kinda ununified right now. What's going on? 
What's going on in the country? You know what I'm saying? What's going on with the stock market? What's going on with the... I mean, I heard we don't even got a Secretary of Defense no goddamn more. You know, like, the Great Pumpkin is running this motherfucker by himself. Like, I, have you ever heard? Is that shit possible? Are we moving into a unit, a unified monarchy? How you say it? Monarchy. Monarchy, yeah. You know what I'm saying? What the hell going on here, right? We got news popping off. We got we got the government shutting down. Man, come on now. We got plenty of stuff. Plenty of ways we can talk about unity. Many different, many, many different ways that we've gone and we can discuss unity. But let me, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pull a story. I'm going to pull a story because, like I said, I have categorized all of the stories so that we can um find a we can find a story for um each individual principle so let's find us a unity story and you know what's crazy i think i think i was going through some stories at the school and i didn't bring that packet home but I'm going to look on here real quick and we're going to find us a unity story. But let me get the rest of my stuff ready so that we can pop our toast off. Uh. Computer moving super slow. What's going on? Folk tell response sheet. There it go right there. Already ready. Already primed. I need my... There we go. Unity. The ant and the dove. Right, I, like, I'm, I'm real. Let me, let me run through this because just... Just so that y'all get an idea. We got the story of the ant and the dove. The ass and his purchaser. <laughs> the ass and his shadow. Fits under unity. Um, let's see. The belly and his members. The bull and the goat. The bat. The birds and the beast. Mmm. That's a good one. Let's do it like this. The father and his sons. The flea and the wrestler. The four oxen and the lion. The fox and the crane. The frogs complaint against the sun. We got the geese and the cranes. Ooh. This is a good one. That's a good one. The gnat and the bull. The goat herd and the wild goats. Now, this is an excellent one. And I think that might be the one that I that, that I want to um, cover. Man, that's a good one. Um, we got, hold on. We got Hercules and the Wagoneer. Oh, man, that's a great one, too. The Horse, Hunter, and Stag. The Kingdom of the Lion. Oh, man, the Laborer and the Nightingale. The Lion and the Boar. The Lion and the Mouse. The Lion, the Bear, and the Fox. The Ant and the Grasshopper. Oh, no, my fault. That's trust. So those are all the ones that I got listed for unity so far. So, I mean, if y'all heard one that you might want to discuss, go on, go on, holler it out. But if not, let's go on and get to, let's go on and get to uh, our toast. So I got to finish this water. I got a little extra water from last night because I didn't finish it. So I'm drinking a little bit more than the regular, what is it, 38? No, 33.8. 
So we about at 38 ounces this morning. All right, so I can use some of the old stuff. Well, I'm going to try some of the new. I'm going, this is some of the new mixed with the old. And we're going to go on and toast. See how it's aging. Mm. Can you read that again? The topic you named for the discussion. The topic for discussion is how. How have you been practicing unity in this last year? Because right now we are in the we are in the final phase of this year, right? So now, how how have you practiced unity in this year? Let's get it. Let's get it. Because I think that's important. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like we got these principles. And uh, I mean, like here on the journey, we talk about them in some form or fashion every day. We look for them every day. But I think for some of the new people that might be coming on or just to remind ourselves, we need to go on and, you know, hey, shit, this is how I was practicing unity all, all last year. You know what I'm saying? Here's a here's an issue that I found with unity. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, we are in man. I'm, it came fast. And I guess the older you get, the faster it goes, right? Because you know, it's like just last year I was sitting up here and like, damn, it's Kwanzaa time. 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 Kwanzaa time. Kwan's time, right? So now I read the folk tales just in case anybody wanted to cover a folk tale on unity, because like I said, far as far as the principles, uh, far as the folk tales, I got all the folk, all the folk tales, all of the folk tales, all of these labeled for the unit for the principle that they represent. I got them all logged out. You know what I'm saying? Of course, some of them are up for debate, you know, and 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 we come together and we could do that to see which ones fit better. But I have a preliminary list for all of the folk tales and which principle that they fit in fit fit under, so we can have that discussion as well. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, um, Hercules and the Wagner will be a real good one. I'm trying to think about a good one. That will help us. But actually, the best one for us today. The best one for us today. Actually, there's two. I'll read the first one. This one is Hercules and a Wagoneer. A Wagoneer was once driving a heavy load along a very muddy way. At last, he came to the part of the road where the wheels sank halfway into the mire. And the more the horses pulled, the deeper sank the wheels. So the wagoner threw down his whip and knelt down and prayed to Hercules, the strong. Oh, Hercules, help me in this my hour of distress, quoth he. But Hercules appeared to him and said, Tut, man, don't sprawl there. Get up and put your shoulder to the wheel. You know what I'm saying? And then the the model of the story is the gods help them to help themselves, right? Now, but the one that that I love, this one right here, because I see a lot of this happening. A goat herd driving his flock from their pasture at even at, at eventide, found some wild goats and mingled among them. 
and shut them up together with his own for the night. The next day, it snowed very hard so that he could not take the herd to their usual feeding places, but was, but was obliged to keep them in the fold. He gave his own goats just sufficient food to keep them alive, but fed the strangers more abundantly in the hope of enticing them to stay with him and of making them his own. When the, when the thaw set in, he led them all out to feed, and the wild goats scampered away as fast as they could to the mountains. The goat herd scolded them for their ingratitude in leaving him, when during the storm he had taken more care of them than of his own herd. One of them, turning about, said to him, That is the very reason why we are so cautious, for if you yesterday treated us better than the goats you have had so long, it is plain also that if others came after us, you would in the same manner prefer them to ourselves. And then the moral of that says, old friends cannot with impunity be sacrificed for new ones. I see a lot of that shit. I see a lot of that shit. I see a whole, and family, family, that for me, right there, for me, that is one of the the dangers within at least the community where I'm at, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, being dazzled by the new, and, and wanting to, to, to boost the new up, you understand what I'm saying, I think that's a challenge for us. Stay in, in, in staying unified, realizing um, what we have in our circles and appreciating those that we have in our circle, right? Um, rather than looking for the next hot thing or the next hot person, you know what I'm saying? We need to spend a little bit more time in our community um, showing love to those who have been like those old ghosts. Faithful because all the goats could have left that motherfucker. But those old goats always stood around and stuck with him. You know what I'm saying? We got to be very careful about that shit. Right? Because how many how many people, how many people have we uh, chased away? You know what I'm saying? Because of, of how they put it, impunity. Because of our impunity. Um... Old friends cannot, with impunity, be sacrificed. I mean, how many of them? How many old friends have we um, sacrificed with impunity for new ones? You know what I'm saying? They might have been a. You know what I'm saying? How many times uh, the scholars in our own community have we have we uh, not really listened to because we see them all the time? How many? How how many? Um, how many uh, spiritual brothers don't we listen to? In our community, because we see them all the time, you know what I'm saying. How many, how, how, how many um, local artists don't we listen to? Because we see them, you know what I'm saying. They're friends. We don't, we don't have to support your shit. I get it for free. How many black businesses? I mean, really. I mean, and maybe this might apply to us all over. You know what I'm saying. We want to jump to something new before we take care of. What's always been there, right? Unity. Unity is about learning to appreciate. And like I said, once again, that, that gets into that whole spirituality question of what is spirituality. Spirituality is about developing relationships. What comes out of relationships? Unity. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Uh oh, somebody say it's about loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Right? Unity is about loyalty. Anybody else? Any other comments? That's Giammy Journey. I don't know who piloting Giammy Journey, but um, well, I think I know who's piloting, so it don't matter. But it's about loyalty and, and, and hanging in there. How have you practiced that this year? But anyway, let's go and get the toast on. Maybe some people come in, maybe not. Y'all catch this on the rebroadcast, but I will see you tonight. Yes, sir. Kwanzaa. Um, where where's my goddamn flyers at?
All right, we're going to be at the King Arts Complex. King Arts Complex. Um, we will have the drum call and procession at 6 p.m. Lighting the canara and libations. Uh-oh. Um, of course, let's see who we got performing today. We got Children of the Sun. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to let you come on out. This is going to be good. Uh, the Jammy Warriors doing something today? What? And we got we got Brother Yarima coming. Ugh, man, it's going to be fire tonight. Queen's Table going to be providing the food. DJ Kim, um, DJ Kim at Kush is going to be on the wheels of steel. Marketplace is going to be popping off. Come on now. So I, I can't wait to see y'all. But first, family, giving honor to the creator. By whatever name you choose to call it, creator, we lift up our glass and we say, that's right, I say, from there, we get to the stars of the show, and we get to our ancestors. Let's get our list. Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert the Texan, the Davis, Herman Brown, Senior, Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William, Walter, Kristen, Fanny Gaston, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Fiend, Cleveland, Geneva Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Abel Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown II, Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Fillard, Montague Pittman L. No More X, Pet Ma, Rob Malika Fakur, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pounds, Yusuf Weston, Elder Argeny, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alpha Brofro, Ector Jr., J. Edwards, Carlisle Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek L. Pullian, the Luxor Brothers, Miss Eda Brooks Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Alonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Kel Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Trey, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Rinderman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend J. Smith, Lois Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah J. Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kelly D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Well, Levita Farmer, I go so soup. Cheryl Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn, Theolis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Mel B. Thorne, Pearl G. Thorne, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thorne, Erica Tricia Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, May Esther Keach Larice, Linda Watson Hammonds, Jarrell Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Selvin Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hilda Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavina Hall, Freeman Bankster, Mary Moss, Afia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kenty, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quails, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quails, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, S. E. Johnson, Derita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry World, James Farmer, Major Perez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hadley Bester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinier, Elder Amitet Wellman, Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Dama Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, Berry Lisi at Eleanor Howe, Frank Rustin Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs, the second being the Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy Matt Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, D'Amico Russell, Dillamon Aries, Jean and Ruth Jones, Jaina Callahan. Uh, unity also requires knowledge of self, self-respect, and self-love. Thank you, Miss Regina. Thank you. All right. William Walter. William Walter West. Nigel Perez. Elder Basiji Falani. Jim Robinson. Gladys Johnson. Valerie Clark. John and Mary Sullivan. Dirk Johnson. Antonio Johnson. Delise Waters. The Freedis Hines, Inez Bostic, Edna Bostic, Winifred Scannerberry, Wilson Headley, Emma Hines, Phyllis Lee, Eugene Spratling, Calvin Spratling, Charles Wooden, Penny Brown, Roy Lee, Printup Jr., William Johnson, Wilbur Longmire, Edith Cadney, Janice Carter, Michael Carter, Leon Pina Carter, Margaret Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosley, 
Dorothy R. Blair, Ransom Evans Sr., Sam Evans Sr., Nalon Blair Sr., Edward Stevens, Sue Ann Stevens, Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Jean Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren M. Finch, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, Audrey Finch, William Billingsley Jr., Jennifer Sensenball, Hazel Gasson, Jerry Brantley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaneko Parsons, Jason Kathy Bradford, Thomas Bradley, also known as Uncle Buki, also known as Gypsy, Reverend Roosevelt, Word the First, Stacey Trich, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, David Brown, Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth Cox, Paula Cox, Ronald Irvin, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Booth Jefferson, Dan Wilkinson Sr., Emma McClendon, Jerry Doyle, Amina Robinson, Mary Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Teray, Greg G2 Gibson, Donald Hill, Richard Glebus, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Boy Irby, Jim Gaucher, George and Haley Johnson, George and Hallie Johnson, Archie and Margaret Armstead, Diane Scott, Eric Armstrong, Claire Fox, Gene Evans, Archie Beck, Anna McGill, Charles McDaniels, Christine Cottrell, Aunt Becca, Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Eula and Andrew Baker, Patricia and Ed Edwin Brooks, Gwendolyn and Bob Hatch, Kimball Vern Vernon, Bradley Kim, Janie Harry Tubman Cates, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Baker, Erin Nino Baby Hatch Sr., Mally Miller, Housie, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Alex Nixon, John Bowie, Lester and Rachel Saunders, Dorita Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Francis Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Neely Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Manny and Charlie Scott, Ida Casey, Thomas Cofer, Vivian Stevenson, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornetta Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, Mary Francis, Chappelle Jackson, Michael Slade, Joanne Perkins, Richard Jackson, Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Margaret Towns, Mary Williams, Leroy Q. He Sr., Albert Houston, yeah, Albert Houston, Lud Alls, Elijah Alls, Jerome Alls, Henry West Staten, Joe Jamel Alls, Ann Pierce, Donald Carter, Lily Green, Nathan Green, Beth Vaughn, John Dewey, Ruth Beard, Tim Butler, Ramey, Laura Newton, J.B. Foggy, Thomas Newton Sr., Baba Naeem, Jeanette Sanders, Jerry C. Sanders, Roy Pruitt, H.J. Brantley Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Catherine Sanders, Mirel Ellis, Elizabeth Sanders, Henrietta Irby, Mildred Armstead, Margaret Armstead, Catherine Anthony, Bob, uh, Ruby Brown, Charles Walker Sr., Charlie Walker, Cecil Russell, Dan Irvin, Haroon Phillips, William Ford, Margaret Logan, Phyllis Barnett, Lee Irvin Sr., Michael Irvin, Ozella Watson, Hugo Watson, John Caldwell Sr., Robbie Lee, Caldwell, Nevaeh Mitchell, Ron McCormick Sr., Sabrina Easley, Rashawn Easley, Javaya McCormick, Barbara Ann Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed, Shekel Maha Reed Jr., John Reed Jr., Patricia Reed, Edward R. Benson Sr., Ethel H. McNair, Louis Fernandez, Jacqueline Broadus, Reginald Oliver, Mazarin Cooper, George Swan, and Monia Grayson, Charles Scott, Charles A. Scott, Michael Morgan, Charlene Morgan, Sybil Edwards McNabb, Annie Ferguson, William Ferguson, Shelby McClendon. We lift up our glass and we say, Ashe. From there, we move on to the present moment. Where are we in the present moment? Let's see. We could do it this morning, huh? Tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. Y'all heard the man. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. All right. So we salute in this moment. Right now, the moment we are in. Far as Giami journey. Far as the week. It is Ujima. And the Jima stands for Collective Work of Responsibility. The modic principle is righteousness. The M7 is respect. The color is blue. Um, vibration is the hermetic law today. Male name for the day is Kwaku. Female is Akua. Right? We are on, in Kwanzaa, we are on a moja. So the question I ask is Havari Ghani. You know what I'm saying? What's the news on, on, on unity today? Um... 
So uh, we're going to keep keep it moving. So we salute this moment, this moment in time. I wish you happy Kwanzaa and a great celebration and feasting. We lift up our glass and we say, I say from their family, move to our children, our children's children onto affinity. We toast them in advance, right? So that they will... Um, have reason to toast us. We lift up our glass and we say Ashe from their family. We salute all of our relations. We say Ashe from there. Where do we go? We lift up the glass. This is for that personal, that 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 selfish toast, family. Go and get it. Go and get it. You've been working hard all year, right? First day of Kwanzaa. We're going to drink on this cup together and we say Ashe. From their family, I toast the most beautiful, powerful, mag and magnificent person in the room. And guess who that is? Guess who that is? That's right. That's you. Right? So, we lift up our glass and we say, I say, I say, I say. All right. Let's sip a little bit. It's thinning out a little bit. Yeah, it's thinning out just a little bit. I still got to get some ginger to put it in there. I still got to get Kwame's, one of one or two of Kwame's secret ingredients. And we will, we will continue. The, you talking, you trying to get that big light on up there? So, let's go on and do the sound. All right? So, I get a couple minutes. You know what I'm saying? Somebody want to call in? Call in number 614-556-4535 for those. Because it's not too late. You can still get in the competition right now. It's your chance. Text Kwanzaa365 to 77292. Kwanzaa365. Kwanzaa365 to 77292 to get entered into the contest. So that you could partake and possibly win the first prize that we got. I'm about to make calls for the second prize and get the second question quiz ready. So y'all better get ready, man. It's going down. How many, how many people register? How many people, how many people out there have actually have actually did the text and answered the question correctly? I should give y'all the question, but I ain't. I ain't gonna give y'all the question right now. I'm not. I'm not throwing a question out there. No, no, don't ask. Don't ask. No, no, no. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you what the question is. Let me see. Um. Yeah, I could take some time right now. Let's go over something. I'm gonna see. Let's go over the data real quick. Actually, I'll do that off screen. Go to data. See how many people registered. All right. So, um, but hey, family, it was good chilling with y'all. I'm gonna stick on here for a little while longer. See if anybody calling in. Nobody want to talk about unity, huh? Or maybe I'm too early. Like, man, we on break, we on vacation, brother. I tell. I understand, but. Hello, uh oh, uh oh, somebody on. What's up? You can't hear me, you can't hear me. I couldn't hear you at first because you know I had the underground music going. I'm sorry. What's going on? What's going on, fam? What's going on, brother Hot Tim? I'm chill. <laughs> I wanted to talk a bit about that, uh, was it a folk tale that you read? The one about the goats? Yeah. Or Hercules. Oh. Oh, you like that one? You huh? know, the, the, yeah, that in the my where that applies for me is um, like at my job, one of them anyways, but this is one thing it immediately uh, sent me to was at my job, you know, like I've been in my job going on 22 years in January. And there's a lot of us that have been there, you know, quite a few of 20 years mm -hmm. or, you know, longer than I have been. You know, all of us have been there anywhere, but most of us between 15, 20 years that are still there. So, you know, um, when the, the guy who was running the place, they he retired. And they got a new person in and then another person in on the owner's son. And he brought all his people in. They hired all these new management people. Right, right. So now the management people... You know, they've created all these new positions, and they've hired all their 
friends from their jobs, the, you know, their old jobs and family members, etc. And we could just tell coming in the door, us or older folks have been there, that they paying these people uh, more than they paying us, and we've been there 20 something years. Oh, man. Man. So now we, you know, now it's like we feel like, well, shit, I ain't doing this. I ain't going to be doing that. You know, it's, it's better the newer people who, you know, like in the story, the newer go- goats, they they were the one that left. But now it's like we ain't leaving, but now we see where your loyalty lies. Right. So we really ain't going to be the one that's going to give that extra step for you anymore. Right. Because you done, your loyalty has switched now that you got these new people. You're trying to bring, entice them to keep them in the game. You know, sometimes I think that is a way sometimes to push some of the old folks out, you know? Yes, it is. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Definitely. You know, and, um, you know, I mean, it's like, <sighs> I don't see because it's like, like with, with unity, because like you do need some time to bring in new people. But I'm thinking a lot of times it's in how you bring in these people. I mean, can you do it's how the how? I understand them paying them good, but like some of the people, you know, I work with the money. I don't see what people get paid, but I see what people may be given mm-hmm. when they come. Like I remember one person got like $58,000, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm like, when I went in, like, well, can I get a, as a, they gave it to them as a loan and they would pay it back over X amount of time. But then when I want to go in and get a couple hundred or a thousand, it's like, oh, we oh, hell can't no. really no, we can't do, do that. that. No, that's hurting us. No, we can't do that. Can't do it. Can't do it at all. <laughs> I'm like, do y'all forget that I don't know money transactions get passed? I thought the payroll doesn't get passed. You know, and that's payroll that's in the office. So don't get past me. Everything that goes on, wires, transfers, etc., comes through me. So it's like, okay, now y'all y'all can't do that, but y'all give motherfuckers 58 Gs and shit. You know what I mean? Right. Just pay us back. That's why I always say, you know, um, sometimes it's this illusion that a certain group of people are so smart and so educated and they get the best of the job of their hard work and dedication. But let me tell you, that's not true most of the time. Mm. Mm. That is not true. So they make it seem like we, that whole pull yourself up by your bootstrap thing, but they don't even do that because... Most of the people that I know that work there, they were, you know, hired in by a, somebody that knew somebody. Right. And when they got into a bad position, or if they, for example, the 58 G's was to put down on a home for somebody. Oh, so you ain't saying that was 58 G's a, a year. You saying it was 58 G's directly. Yeah, directly. <laughs> God damn. And I'm 58. Yeah, so I'm saying not a year. I'm talking about they gave it to them to put down on a home out in Westerville, something near Westerville. So I'm like, okay. And then I see this, you know, a couple of people now their their sons or their daughters are working there and. And you can hear the people who know these people who came in with them, like his son is a bum, and he laid up. If it wasn't for him, he wouldn't have. But and now you know his son them got a new car. Some people came in, and they just they got automatically got new cars. They got sign in bonuses, you know, huge loans. I mean, these motherfuckers get all they they help each other out. Where in turn we might just be fucked up and have to go live in the lower income part of town, they don't do that. And it's not because they necessarily work so hard or anything. It's they help each other like that. Right, right, right. I mean, 
And they create this illusion that we are doing less than, and they're working harder. But they're really not. Wow. Wow. As hey. a matter of fact, a lot of them might be looking at them like, y'all some dumb. Eyes. But you get paid the big bucks, but okay. Uh I'm seeing, um, yeah, it's, you got a lot. It's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But um, the only thing, the only thing, like I said, what we have to do, because, like, I'm, how have you seen this in in our community directly? Have you seen this same story play out in what we do? No. No, not on a no, because what I have noticed, for example, what they do a lot of times is they bring people in that they are friends or family members or what have you, and they don't even have to have any experience at the job. They're going to make sure they're okay. They're going to take care of their own. They're going to take no matter what, and they don't care if you've been doing it for 25 years. I'm going to hire my friend to be your boss who ain't never done it. And then you're going to train him. Mm -hmm. That's how they do. I have noticed when it's us and we have that position to do that, we are more like you're going to have to earn it like I earned it. You know what I mean? Right. I'm not going to give you this job. No, you're going to earn it like I earned it. But a lot of times they say that out their mouth. When I, I'm telling you what I see for myself. And I've been working in corporate America for a long time. And that's how they are. They don't care if you don't know. The, um, where we work at right now, the owner's son, he is only like 35. Mm. And he runs the whole company. And he came in. He was living in France. He ain't know anything about no gas station running a business. None of that. None of that. He came in like, I'm tired of living in France. I want to come to the States and do my thing. Wait, hold on. So he was, was living, like, he was living in France yeah. on his on his, on his his father's dime? I'm not sure how he was, but I think he wasn't being very successful there. That's why I think it was one of them things. I'm going to show Dad I can do it. And then he was like, fuck it. You know, <laughs> coming back home, taking him this advantage, taking advantage of this what I got. You know, and they pay, that's the thing, they pay his, because uh, I see it, they pay for his place to live every month. He gets like a $3,000 stipend for where he lives every month. God damn, $3,000? See, man, shit, mm -hmm. I, I mean, but hey, I mean, we got some hustle, we got some building to do, family. Listen, this shit is out here happening. This shit is real life, right? But now, let me tell you where this is happening in our community. But I think we should have the attitude sometimes, too. Not oh. like, oh, well, I had to work hard for it, nigga. You're going to have to work, too. No, we're going to, I'm going to get you, I'm going to put you on. It's not bad if you can and you see somebody that will help have that potential. Put them on. Uh, it's put them on. It's happening. I mean, it is happening. It's happening all around us. I mean, even with us, too. I mean, but, you know, I, what can you say? I mean, it... And sometimes you can't you can't speak about it openly, but that shit that shit does happen. I have seen that happen far as the business world, far as um, black folks as well, but not 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 to the extent that you talking about three thousand dollar living allowance and shit. I'm like, where is this motherfucker living that he get? He need that's it's okay. Three thousand a month. That's a mortgage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So he gets that. Hold on for and, a second. And um, some oh, other things. But I'm on. just saying, I wish we... Okay. All right. All right, but I'm... Yeah, so... Yeah, but I mean, you know, we... This, this story also plays out in our community. I, I've seen it. I didn't see it play out in our story. In, in our... In, 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 in where we are. I've seen the story play out. And I'm like, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Because... I mean, because this is a story about the old, not just, not even the old overtaking the new. Like, boom, um, I'm a superior hunter. I'm a superior business person. This is not a story about the old overtaking the new. This is about the fascination with holding on to the new or, or, or moving towards that thing that is shiny. You know what I'm saying? 
rather than valuing already what you have. And we see this all the time in, in our community. And we have to be very careful about that shit because often um, everything everything that glitters is not gold. As many of us have been finding out. Yes, we have. And even when you talk about the unity piece, I heard you talk about like supporting like even local artists. I noticed in certain genres of music, local artists here, they don't get that support mm -mm. like I do when I go to other cities. Mm -mm. And I see they don't care what kind of genre. If it's a local artist, they try to support them. But I don't see that kind of support here outside of maybe in the, you know, R&B, Neil Soul type thing. But outside of that, I don't see where us as a community come out and support on a large numbers our local artists. Mm. And I wish we would just support and have that unity more, which, you know, I want us all to move to Whitehall anyway, so... You say you, you know, want Ava? Thing. She she got she got an exodus plan, family. Y'all need to go and listen to some of the shows. She got an exodus plan. Take over a small township and make it her own. You know what I'm saying? And, and which is which is you know a lot of people are like, oh, but that shit is it, that's just shit is possible. It's about as possible as the uh, me getting a complex. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know us buying a complex and doing the same shit. You know what I'm saying? And but you know. Um, unity, you know, that is, that is the word of the day. That is a powerful word. That's a powerful concept that we have an opportunity to work through. Um, but that's what I like about the warrior training. Cause I think uh -oh. it teaches the uh -oh. young men unity. It ain't just for young men it's now. Don't, come on now. And the young ladies and Thank the you. young ladies. I was talking, Thank we you. need to get some more young ladies in the group. Because my vision is we get some more young ladies, they participate in certain activities together, then we break off and do what we had a ladies, the young lady talk, you know, without the young men. But we need some more young ladies at the warrior training, so I'm going to start doing these flyers every week that we're going to have one. I'll shoot it out that Monday, and we'll just blast it blast out. Blast it out. Blast that it out. Till warrior training comes. Because I know a lot of my uh, grandsons... Uh, mom's friends were interested in it i just got to get the word out better that it exists and then we got to start having more uh what do you call that fundraisers right well i mean we're about to do another movie night we're about to we got to we got to sit down and talk about this whole market piece um but um another piece is i have to activate my village this morning because i have to be somewhere because I need a ride. So I'm about to go on and get a ride. Oh, somewhere. yeah. Forgot your car down. Yeah. I mean, right. I mean, listen, listen. Um, a sister um, sent out a request for help. This shit was, this shit was incredible to me. She sent out a, 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 a text. And I responded to it. Because I'm like, shit, if, you know, somebody asks for help, you boom. I get up. I go, I go help. I come back. I mean, this shit is, listen, I drive back. No problem. No problem with my car. I drive back. I drive to um, back to my job, turn my car off for a second, try to turn it back on. The shit will not start. I'm just up like, this shit, no, no. I, to, you know what I'm saying? Try to start it again. It starts up and it starts running and then it just stops. It just cuts off by itself. So I'm like, ah, oh, all right, cool. We're going to find out what's going on. It ain't nothing super serious, but it's something that's going to delay. So, you know, oh, are you ready for the night, Miss Navita? I'm ready for tonight. Are you ready for tonight? No, nah, I'm stumbling and shit. You see me stumbling on my words this morning. It don't make no difference. I'm still going to keep on talking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I'm make ready. sure you bring a list of who's performing tonight. All and that's all just that. gonna be provided. Listen, listen, listen. One thing we don't have to worry about is organization, because because like I said, Sister Jill puts her foot in shit. So all that shit. I mean, I got lists. I got lists and notes for months. You know what I'm saying? So it don't. And then we're gonna have a book. So and it's going down. And I want to say I want to thank all those people who responded um, to the uh, um, the the 
Kwanzaa 365 text. Um, you know, we got people responding as we speak, and some some of the answers are right. The question is easy as hell. Did you get your text? No, I don't get any text. You you ain't get you ain't get a text from me. I have to let me double check. I have to look. All right, cause I'm like, man, all right, cause you know, you you might want to do that. Try at least seeing if they'll let you on Kwanzaa 365. So you be like, uh. Kwanzaa 365, text Kwanzaa 365 to the same number. But for some reason, I couldn't even, maybe it didn't send you a text. You know, but we got people in the running for the first place prize. You need to get into it. I mean, it's, it, it's a free, it's a free Walmart card. You know what I'm saying? It's a free book. All you need to know is the answer to the simple Kwanzaa question. And I'm formulating the next Kwanzaa question because I got to take this one offline before I put the other one up, which means that I might, I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do that. You might have to stall the crowd while I, while I set up my, because I'm going to have to take, I'm going to have to take this question offline and then go back and recreate a whole nother question because I don't have any more, uh, so, you know, let me get this right. It starts at 6, right? Yeah, you ain't going to be there at 6. I know, so I'm saying I'm going to be there. What time you going to be there? Make sure you let me know you got your ride and everything. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get a ride. Now, because what I'm what, okay, well, what I'm about to know. work on now is getting getting where I need to get now and get over here so I get my car towed. Once I get my car towed, I will I will feel a lot more comfortable about where I am as far as transportation. But, uh, Sister Navita, I'm about to get up because I need to make these calls. Because All right, all right. I'll holler at you later. Peace, family. Peace. Peace out, y'all. Y'all take it easy, and thank y'all for tuning mm -hmm. in to Giami Journey. This is Brother Hatim, and you have just listened to the Daily Toast and Discussion. And I want to say a great emoji for you if you celebrate Kwanzaa. For those that's on Giami Journey, we know it's Ujima. So, and this has been... A heart of a sim. Oh no, this has been Giami Journey Media. This is a heart of a similar production, and this has been the Daily Toast. Where we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. I'm gonna steal her shit. Ooh, that's fucked up. I didn't even expect it like that. But it went down like that. <laughs>